the other stress mm-hmm. affiliates have right now um, in the whole space is like they feel like there's all this talk of like oh if you're an affiliate like it's not a real business like you're just getting that CPA again like you don't own the customer you don't actually own anything yeah. you're not doing you're anything. renting rather than owning you're renting yeah. rather than owning right so there's affiliates like like no I need to build my own business like I need to that's why they're getting into drop shipping you know yeah. it's like I need to like I need to have this something that can like grow and nurture and roll um, but there's two things with that like it's, it's a good it's a good idea right but one like unless you're buying media on that thing it's gonna fail anyway right yeah like how many people you talk to with a drop shipping business that you say if you turned off all your ads right now are you gonna be making money in six months no, no. I don't pff, yeah yeah so anyways that's one but what I was getting at is like affiliates like them your your media buyers right so like who's to say you can't build a business a media buying business yeah right an like, agency an agency right yeah. or oh, whatever like a media buying team like some of the affiliates are doing right now like they've they start off as an affiliate themselves and they hired one two three people they have a whole team like a whole media buying team that know direct response right yeah. that is a business right so in two years time from now when like people are struggling to make money online because everything's so expensive and they don't know about buying anything online how valuable is that going to be? Yeah. Right. Like you being able to say like, Hey, we can, we can like support like what, like big budgets, yeah. right. For your store or for whatever it is you're doing and we'll make it profitable or for right. whoever, whatever big brands move into exactly. performance marketing. Exactly. Right. And that's our, the big thing we talk about all yeah. the time is performance marketing and the rising tide. Yeah. And if you're an expert performance exactly. media buyer, yeah, that's a good, it's like you should be building in. a media buying business. Like you don't have to get into like whatever offer you're running. You don't have to get into that. Yeah. And then run that. I mean, you can. It's good. Like, do it. Like, whatever. Like, we run a very successful e-commerce store. As an advertiser, it's definitely just... That's, that's where I'm at. But what I'm saying is... And that's only because I don't know how to buy media. And that's not my thing. Yeah. Um, if you're a good media buyer, and that's what you like doing, build a media buying company. And there's other assets you can build within there. You know, yeah. one of my... Our fav- you my can favorite example. sell that company. I can't yeah. sell my company right now. Well, look right at Strahouse. Look at Strahouse. Just, Strahouse yeah. has built a $80 million, or they did $80 million in three years or whatever, mm-hmm. and they've done it on media buying. Mm-hmm. They basically run offers. They were, yeah. you know, they ran Tracker, yeah. and now they're building, I, I won't let the cat out of the bag too much, but they're building media buying tools that allowed them to do these amazing things. If you can build yeah. technology around media buying and the, exactly and right. the nexus of and, yeah. and media buying and e-commerce, yeah. that's an incredibly saleable asset. Definitely, definitely. You know? Exactly right. So, like, it's... Yeah, it's such a wrong, it's such a misconception, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm an affiliate. Like, I don't so chill know. out, affiliates. Chill Just... out, relax. Like, yeah, build a f- media buying company. Like, yeah. that's going to be the most valuable, like, in this whole online space, the most valuable people in two years now when everyone's stressing the f*** out are the ones that can still do it. Amazing. I wanted to ask you, do you still, like, you're almost all direct response at this point, but do you still invest anything into in, in, in the influencer space for any of your brands? No. No. Um...